Hi guys, you are on Varium24.com and today we will disassemble the smartphone Xiaomi Redmi 12C. At the very beginning we need to remove the card tray. For this we take a special tool, insert it into the hole and push out the tray for two SIM cards and memory card. Then using a thin plastic tool we move to detach the back cover. We put it in the hole between the back cover and the display frame and run it along detaching the clips. Once we have a gap, we can use a thicker tool. Always be careful around the side buttons and the fingerprint sensor, because in these places are the buttons themselves and there may be cables and they can be accidentally damaged. We also need to be careful on the corners, because the cover is held extremely tight on the corners. And we open the back cover. With one finger we hold the fingerprint sensor on the cover. And we've got the back cover held in place by the tape around the cover of the cameras. We need to carefully remove it so that we can use it again when we reassemble the phone. Then we move on to unscrewing the screws. We use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or hash TO. One screw has warranty sticker on it, which means that nobody has disassembled for before us. So we check that the fingerprint sensor is not fixed on the cover and we can carefully detach the cover. We use tweezers with the ceramic tips to avoid shorting anything on the printed circuit board. Find a convenient place, hook at the edge and pull off the cover so as not to damage the fingerprint sensor cable. After that we disconnect the battery connector. And we can disconnect the connector and remove the fingerprint sensor. So we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. The screwdriver is the same, 1.5 mm Phillips. It looks like the screws are all the same, but we still recommend placing them on a special surface in easy to remember order for assembly. And we can detach the cover with a speaker. We hook it at the edge and take it out. Then we disconnect the interboard cable connector and the coaxial cable connector. We move on to detaching the support, finding the right and convenient place to hook on. The support is recessed into the display frame, it is held on the clips and there are two protrusions in the display frame for screws on which the support is threaded. On the subboard we have a microphone, charging port and other elements on the inside. And in the display frame we have a vibration motor. We move on to detaching the cameras. First we remove the large camera. It is better to hold the cameras by the body so that they don't fall out. Then we remove the front camera. To the camera is traditionally attached a heat dissipating foil.
And we move on to disconnecting the display connector and disconnecting the coaxial cable connector and bending the cable aside. Ok, we can remove the motherboard. Find a convenient place for us, hook at the edge and pull out the printed circuit board. The motherboard may be held in place by the thermal paste on the back side. Finally, we move on to detaching the battery. We need to unwrap the two brown tabs and pull on the white tab that goes under the battery at the edges. With one hand we hold the display frame and with the other hand we gently pull upwards, removing the battery. As we can see, the battery is also held on a transparent protective coating which protects the interboard cable. So, this is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the next video. Ok guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until the next video.